As promised, in this step, we're going to set about filling these holes that we created here. And I want to show you a couple of options of how you can do this, and then you can just choose your favorite. The first way that I'll show you is with a tool called Bridge. And in order to use that, we need to right click on our geometry and go into edge mode. And now edges will be highlighted to show that we can select them. And we need to click on one edge. And then I'm going to shift click on one of the parallel edges. So I've now got those on both sides. So I'll just turn that move tool off. And with those selected, the first method that I'm going to show you is in edit mesh. And it's something called bridge. So you can just click on it and it will work. You can see that that's now bridged that gap. And this gives you some extra settings. So if you want to, not that we do for this, but you could add some divisions to it. Um, I don't think tapering will work without divisions or tapering won't work on the shape at all, actually. You can also, in some cases, twist what you've done. And there are different types of curves. So sometimes you can bridge. Um, I've used the bridge tool before to create like a handle on a cup and curve type can help for that. So that's one way of doing it. The other way, which is actually the way that I tend to use more often, is in Mesh Tools, it's called the Append to Polygon tool. And when you turn this on, you can see that border edges, these ones on the edge, go a little bit thicker. And that's to show you that you can click on them. So you click on one, and then click on the other side that you want to fill it in, and press Enter to complete that shape, like so. And then a little trick in Maya that I'm going to tell you now, because I feel like we're close, is if you press G on your keyboard, that will bring back the last tool used. So I'm going to use the Append to Polygon tool again to fill that hole there. And then one final one here, press G for last tool used. Click, click, and enter. And that has filled that little window hole. Beautiful. Okay. That then will do it for this step. In the next step, we're going to put a little bit of a frame in the window so that it's not just a gaping hole. So I will see you in that step for some frame making. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.